toastmasters and you can grow yourself as a better leader and communicator. So this is all about conferences. So what is the upcoming conference? It's a very famous upcoming conference. Ovations 2017. Ovations 2017 is the famous is the conference that's coming up in May. May. Right, who's going to Sri Lanka? It's happening in Sri Lanka. Yeah. Wow. So the club is going to be empty on the same day, all right. So that is one of the one of the what you call it, annual conference that a district hosts. So uh, it is the topmost conference that our district hosts. Right. No problems. So these are the various opportunities you have in conferences. Next comes speech contest. This is something very close to my heart, very close to a lot of post masters in here. So there is one person who I always admire, you know. He will not be a part of any conference role playing because he will always be a contest. Yes, who? Mohan. This man. So Mohan, our president, would always be into any sort of contest. So contest, uh, uh, I mean speech contest. Speech contests are not allowed to play roles. So that is the reason why he will always be a contestant. And for some reason we are not uh, able to get his leadership for our conferences because he was always a contestant. So speech contest, it starts from the club. So club, we have, what are the very sets of uh, speeches or contests that we have? So what you said was the type of contest of this? ISE. ISE. They would know it. E. The evaluation contest. Email. Story edition. Uh, storytelling is not an official contest. That is something we have amongst us. Humorous. 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 Right. These are the major contests that we conduct in Toastmasters in our district. So, ISC and TT pass together, evil and humor pass together. So, this speech contest gives us a unique experience as a leader, as a speaker. So contestants will have great experience because this is not a usual speech platform where they have given their experimental speech. This is something in a competitive mode that will teach you a lot of preparations, how to prepare to win. So Mohan has been a part of the contest for more than three years and Mohan can you please share your experience as a contestant that you've been through so far. So as I signed up for contest. <laughs> So before the season, sometimes I visit it. So there is a lot of work to do, and a lot of tension also, frankly. And, but uh, for many times I, I sign up in the last two three years, and then uh, more more last two years. But I've been a member for three years now. So one of the biggest learning is to definitely go a little uh, more on your you stretch yourself. There's no question about that. And especially in a club like mainly extremely extremely competitive. If, uh, many of you might know. This year beginning, 2016 club level contest, we had 21 contestants, contestants in ISC. And the only time, in, uh, I believe, in the entire world that there was a semi final and final at club level. So it's 21, we broke it into two semi finals and then we had a final the following day. So several things you learn A, you just became a better speaker, I truly believe. B, there's a, you get a bigger audience, right? And then uh, division contests normally get 200. If you look, is about 50 to 100. Division is anywhere between 20 to 600. Last year we had two divisions combined with 600. So there is an incentive for uh, working hard and winning because you get bigger and bigger audience. And third thing is definitely a right, lot of people you know, speak to them, uh, wider audience, and get their feedback also. They come into you. Suppose you move from club to area, you get a much different exposure and a kind of different. And even whenever we win or lose, you learn a lot because you know what I went wrong. We can definitely go back and construct our own speech and rework. And people have, I've seen in other clubs also come back and they lost their speech, they would have lost a year or two back, they come back and then rework that. And then and I would like to discuss special expressions, dialogue, whatever I was missing in that, and then go ahead and then make it. So definitely very, very interesting. And, and, and certainly it's an it's experience that all of us should go through. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
historic 21 contest in contest last year so i was a part of that grand uh, event so we had some surprises we had some uh, what do you call it very uh, close to the heart moments during the time mohan was the winner from the uh, alex yes, jacob yes. was the winner mohan was the first runner up and i was the second runner up so usually only two people will go on to the next level into the area. So I was praying that either of these two people should get a diarrhea that day so that I can get on stage. <laughs> but unfortunately they were so healthy but... The sound will still come and still speak. Right. So that is how it works. So first, the speech contest starts with the club level. And either in both the TT and ISC, two people, the top two, four. Right. So IAC2 and TT2 will move on to the area level. So area level, area is a combination of a lot of clubs <coughs> in the particular geographical area. So people from other clubs will be joining together and will be competing. So out of that contest, another two people will be moving on to the next level into the division. So but out of the division, only one guy will move up to the level. So that is how contest happened. The only thing interesting about contest is, except ISC, every other contest are limited to the district. So districts, district level is the topmost in other level of contest. But in ISC, you can go till US. So people from across the globe will be coming in and pitching their speeches, and they'll play a very major role in winning contests. So who was the world champion this year? Dan. Dan Day. Hey, uh, last year? Dan Day. Wrong. So who was our di uh, district's representative this year for IAC? I banned you from speaking. <laughs> Kaishika Rodriguez. Rodriguez, right, you are right, you are right. <laughs> so he knows a lot of information then. Do you watch uh, you know, like the, the winning speeches last several years in YouTube? Yeah. Yes, yes. Right. If you are not watch, please watch. I will so, give you some recommendations. Right. It's a learning, big learning. So, a lot of speeches are there out in YouTube. Uh, Mohan is the best person to ask for all these collections of speeches because he must be having an artist full of speeches right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. I watched, I happen to watch a lot of that. Right. So, these are all the various speech contests that we have to grow ourselves as a leader and a communicator. So, apart from contestants, other roles are also that they like contest master, contest chair. <coughs> so these helicopters, these fall under speech contest type. And judges. And especially judges coming to judges. Uh, I played the role of judge in club level uh, contest, in our club level contest. And the eligibility criteria to become, uh, become a judge is first CC6. You will know, be have, having to come to CC6. And then TLA conducts events called emergence. So emergence are events where they train you to become judges. So emergence is very important in grooming yourself as a judge. So this month we have, uh, next month we have emergence, Jan 8, the same venue. So those who are interested in becoming a judge, those who are interested in uh, interacting with a lot of speakers, you can contact us. Emergence is the right place to groom yourself as a leader. Apart from all of these, my personal thing is I've been in Toastmasters. These are all the various opportunities that we have Toastmasters as Toastmaster. My personal story, I would like to share my personal experience in Toastmasters. Like, I joined Toastmasters in 2015 when Sunil was a Vice President membership. So at that time, I did not know much about Toastmasters. I called every person who has a blazer as President. So the, but unfortunately, the current president was not wearing a blazer. At that time, the current president was not wearing a blazer. And, and I went to him and I asked, who's the president of this club? So a lot of people are wearing blazers. He said, ah, it's me. No, no kidding. So he was none other than Toastmaster Parandaman. But uh, for what happened next is that I got a lot of inputs about how to be in the XCOM, be a part of the XCOM, and all those activities. So another major event that happens to groom yourself as an XCOM or an officer is officer's training program. So back then I was just a part of the subcommittee but still I attended the officer's training program which is meant only for the executive committee members. So how many of you know all the roles in an executive committee member? An executive committee? 
Fresh, fresh as this was. Vice President for Secretary. No, Vice President, we have three Vice Presidents. Oh, three vice PR presidents. and uh, yeah. right. So there is a training called Officers Training Program that will be connected for all the executive committee members. So now it's happening in Jan 8, I believe. You know, so people who are not interested, uh, people who are not officers are also, uh, can also attend this event to know more about what are the roles and responsibilities of an executive committee. That is the thing and like I said, uh, once Vinod asked me how is that you get a lot of friends. So I have this theory. So if you are part of a club, you will have the opportunity to interact with 60 people. If you are part of an area, you will have the opportunity to interact with at least one ADP. So if you are a part of a division, you will have an opportunity to interact with 500 people. So if you are a part of the district, you will have an opportunity to interact with 1000 plus people. So you know, uh, previously I used to learn a lot of lessons from books, novels self-help books. But later I realized that people can teach us a lot than books. Instant messages will be received on spot than books. So a lot of networking will happen if you go beyond your club. So I encourage all of you to take this Toastmasters fraternity as an opportunity to increase your networking circle from 60 to 1000 plus. So this will groom you as a better leader and communicator. So that's why we are all here. right? Alright, that is it. Thank you so much. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Arvind Vivekanathan. And hope it was an enjoying session for you all. Yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. Yes, yes. Uh, with this, we come to the end of the session. Before I uh, give the floor to Toastmaster Palmer, again, I would like to re emphasize the theme of the day. Love your neighbors as you love yourself. And I can find, find in each and every one of you that you love your neighbors too much so that everybody took enough time so that uh, to speak. And uh, I, I found this uh, something, you know, I, this, I didn't expect this much you can talk about your neighbor. So I found I am lacking that one. So I will improve my uh, love towards my neighbor. And with this, I give this to you. Thanks again. Let's give Vijay a round of So, um, time to wrap up as we are waiting for the results. Uh, can we get some feedback from the two guests we have? So, oh, hello all. Uh, it was a great session today. I learned a lot and I got to witness few speeches which were really good. And uh, to the speakers, uh, to Vinod, I didn't really think that it was a CC3 speech. The way you spoke and the message you delivered was really good. And to Janani, it was a really good speech. And one thing that I should learn from her speech is the way she tells a story. And the dictionary and uh, the word usage is that you are really good. So, from the TT session as well, I got to learn a lot and it was such a good experience. Thank this you. is the first time in Medley and I've been attending other club meetings around. This is the first time here and I really love it. Thank you. Yeah, I gave a feedback yesterday too. But uh, yes, uh, one change happened today. Uh, thanks to the executive committee that I got to play a small role for the meeting today and I am thankful to all. Thank you. Uh, in fact, uh, thinking about today's theme, two years back my ISC speech was on a theme called the North Creek. Uh, that was when I was in the, I used to live in the US. So, uh, my wife was expecting uh, her only brother at that time. So neither of our mothers could, uh, could make it to US from India. So first six months was uneventful. Then we had a lot of issues to the extent that I had difficulty continuing to go to work and there was no one to take care of. So at that point, we had made friends just shortly three, four months with uh, another Indian family. 
Now I had to make a huge decision of what to do for the remaining three months. Like just taking off for three months was very difficult with insurance and other stuff. Then we went for dinner on a on a Saturday night to their house, and I came home and the, my wife had slept out. She was very unwell. A series of complications. So on 10:30, as I was thinking, uh, uh, hardly slept for three months. But as I was thinking, what to do, what how to handle Monday situation, how to go to work and all this stuff. This lady whom we went with just made friends last week when she called me and said she can drop her daughter. She was not working. Drop her daughter in school and come back and take care of my work and get a job. And then she this over the phone at 10:30 for the great happening. So I couldn't even believe. So we don't know much. We obviously didn't ask for any help. So I realized you're a lot of uh, you know, wife and a lot of trouble. And then uh, uh, I can help you for the rest of the time. Me, not a problem. So Saturday Sunday you take care. So from that point, next three months. She came and took care of my wife, and we are still great friends, uh, extremely great friends. And uh, obviously, I, I try to look for any opportunity to replay. But that is an unbelievable uh, neighborhood story because it's one or two days is fine, but somebody unknown, virtually taking care of somebody like pregnant for three months is a lot of work. So preparing food and all this stuff. So that was unusual and anyhow. So that was narrated, and that I turned out into my. So now time for the results. Uh, best role player Vijay. Did I adjust meeting three and three? 